Hello, vlog family. This is the current state of our living, of, yeah, our living and dining room. We have all of these books everywhere. And then the whole shelf there and books just lining our hallway. Dan is currently in the way, but yeah, just lining our whole hallway. And then if you look in the bedroom, this bookshelf is essentially empty right now. We started this project yesterday. Ow, I just sped my toe on books. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. And basically what we're doing is we're taking all of them off of the shelves, rearranging them, putting them into like different groups based on like what kind of book they are and all that good stuff. And then we're going to Re we're basically just reorganizing all of them and we're going to then also catalog all of them so we know what books we have and then the bookshelf we haven't put everything back yet because the bookshelf when we built it we built it and the shelves are funny heights so we're going to actually we're going to get ready to go grocery shopping now but then when we get back we're going to take the entire bookshelf apart all of the shelves off and we're going to reassemble it so that all of the shelves are proper heights and whatnot so we can fit books on there the best. Because some of our books are very, very tall and some of those shelves are very, very small. So we're going to try to make them a little more uniform. And hopefully that will help us organize all of the books better. But that is the current chaos that is our dining area. suggested us doing this, I don't know if you know, I really only had in mind to move two of the shelves. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I thought we would really want to just rearrange all of them to better. Of course, and that's, that is the better plan. What, what two were you thinking of moving? Just the top two ones. Oh. Yeah, that's okay, this is good. Come on, you man, why didn't you speak up? <laughs> the finished bookshelf all of the books fit so much better and the shelves are all filled and everything's organized and it's beautiful I love it you might not be able to hear it over the cicadas but listen for it look at how bright it is over here see the sunlight bright Ooh, can't hardly focus It looks very bright. It is not bright at all. <laughs> Can you hear all of that thunder? This is like, this has become a nightly, like, a, it's almost become a routine for the weather now. Every single night for the past almost two weeks, it's been ridiculous. Every single night it will go from bright sunny skies, humid, clear blue, beautiful clouds, to this. And it gets super stormy, super like intense thunder, it downpours, and it's, it's like you're in a hurricane. It's craziness. The wind goes crazy. It's just like white out. And it's been consistent every single night. Okay, that's wind. I thought it was starting to downpour already. But it's... <laughs> Like, we've lived here now four years, and it has not done this ever before, and I love it. I mean, I love the thunderstorms. I am soaking this up. Nice one. Yeah. But this is craziness. Like, it never has it ever stormed this much in a single year. Like, Ooh, that was some intense lightning. I had to blink a few times. Wow. Great are the works of the Lord. Uh oh. There's the rain. The... Oh my gosh. What I am working on now is getting a video uploaded that will have gone live the Wednesday before this vlog does. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. But it is If I Were a Crazy Dog Mom 
which I had a ton of fun recording. I recorded it with Micah, the German Shepherd that we watched last week. But then what I'm going to work on after supper is I'm going to work on German. That is my focus for this week. And I decided it was going to be my focus because I watched a video by a girl who I know from Illinois, uh, Corinne Summer. I'll put her YouTube channel in the description below. But she does a ton of journaling and she's made several videos about her journals and what she journals and her most recent video that I watched she was talking about wanting to learn different languages and the one of the ways she was learning was by she bought a journal and she wrote she's going to be writing in the journal in the language that she's learning. So the first, the entries are gonna start out really super basic because she's only gonna know the basics, but then as she learns, she's gonna be able to start writing more intricate entries and be more detailed and use more tenses. And, and I thought that was an amazing way to learn because I've tried learning German before. I've tried, um, I've, Dan and I have both learned it slightly, like we've dabbled in it, and I thought I need a good way that I can help retain the, my memory. And I have another friend who I pen palled with uh, in German a couple of times, and we we're both just learning, so they were both very simple pen pal letters back and forth. But that was a huge help because I retained a lot of information, and it challenged me to learn new things. And it is just downpouring. My goodness. So I watched Corinne's video and I thought this is an awesome idea. So we went to Books A Million and I got myself my own journal that this actually matches the pop socket that I have on my phone, but I thought it was adorable. And it has this really cool like no binding type thing where there's no binding, it's just like bare there, but I love it. And it's a nice solid journal and open it up and it's just, ton and ton of writing room there's no one of the things I did not want was like where there's like little logos or pictures at the bottom or where like like a whole section of it was taken up with something else because that takes away from the actual writing and the space that you have for writing which I did not want so I really like this one grabbed it but after we get done with supper I am going to try writing an entry in here based on what I remember from when I started learning a while back, several months ago now. And then I have a couple apps on my phone that Dan and I both use that we both really like it. They work really well. And I'm going to go through and start reusing those, using those again and learning and basically try to journal every single day or once a week or something. I don't know, but to keep up with it to then learn more German. It's Wednesday now. Dan and I are currently working on supper. We have some potatoes boiling for mashed potatoes. We're getting some kielbasa browning up. And we're making like this cheesy kielbasa broccoli skillet thing. That's a new meal. We're trying it. We'll see. But I wanted to show you this. So I am currently working on a project, as you can see by the crazy array that is our kitchen table currently. Basically what I'm doing is I had this old shadow box that I found at Goodwill that I cut a hole in the top of it and I've been using it for tickets that we have collected over going to like sporting events or parking passes or like movie tickets that we go to see and I've been collecting them and putting them in there and I thought it was a great way to show like where we've been a cute little like element to have in the house to, to have that people could go they could see it and it was all fun well it got to the point where we had so many tickets that you couldn't see the cute little ticket design thing that I had in the back of that anymore. And you couldn't see the vast majority of the tickets because they were just all shoved behind each other. So what I did was for, was it, was it for Christmas that mom gave us this? I believe so. I think so. My mom, for Christmas, got us this photo album book where you can go and just put in, you know, all of your photos and all that. She said it would be nice to have for something for, like, our coffee table. And at the time, I thought, you know, that would be really, really cool to have, like, an actual photo album. Nobody has that anymore. Nobody, everything is digitalized. And so we hung on to it for a while, and, I mean, that was in Christmas. It's now August. It's been nearly a year, and we've not used it. And I keep thinking, like, I don't want to get rid of it because I think it would be cool to use, but we're not going to take the time to go print off a bunch of pictures. 
And then I got the bright idea the other day. What if I used the photo album as a way of showing all of our tickets? So that's what I'm working on and I'm so much so much fun because I'm getting to use up the ridiculous amount of stickers that I have. I'm getting to use my letter stamps and I'm getting to put all of our tickets into things which there's stacks of tickets under all of this. It's a disaster. But look at how cute some of these are. So it just says photos which is misleading but maybe people will open it and look and be like oh. Then you open it. It's movie night and then there's a handful of movies there. And this is just all of the different movies. And what I've done is I've tried to, like, correlate the stickers to the actual movie. Like, this was Monsters University when we went to go see it in 2013 in the theaters. So I put a little monster sticker. And this is when we went to see Spider-Man Homecoming. And so there's a little spider web. And this was How to Train Your Dragon. So I have a little dragon. And, and on a lot of these, I have, I've actually written on the back of them so I know who we went with because I don't have like the doubles so like, Dan and I both went to a lot of these and we both have our ticket from it but rather than filling all these up with two of the same ticket everywhere I just have one of each so on the back of them most of them I have written exactly what we were doing who we were with if anything um, significant happened while we were there so like with this guy I would have had no idea where that came from, but come to find out, that was the little ticket we got when we went to go see Despicable Me 2 at the drive-in. And you don't purchase a, like a movie ticket to see that, you just drive up and they give you this little admit ticket. So I wrote on the back that that's what it was, which I thought was really cool. But then, so I have all of those, and then there's an empty spot for when we get more movie tickets. And then you keep flipping and it goes soccer game anyone and these are all the soccer games that we've been to that we have and like that one as well just a little uh, that was a soccer game that we went to just a couple months ago with Jamie and Jaden and that was all of the ticket that we got for it essentially you can't do that with digital tickets right versus. right so yeah the ticket was online it was just on our phone so we didn't have a way to print it off at all Drives me mad. <laughs> so that's all the further that I've gotten although I have lots more tickets but I thought that was a really cool way to display it. It's so much fun looking back on the memories. And especially with like airline tickets. Some of these, let me see. Yeah, so some of these, it's just like, this is from Charlotte to Detroit. And it's three different boarding passes, but all three of them have just notes upon notes upon notes that I've taken so that I can just put this in there and at any point if you want to read all of that's on the back of all of these tickets telling all of the stories and the crazy layover experiences that we had you can just pull it right out and read it and I think it's just so great because it's going to be a great way to look back on fond memories and, I don't know, and I the not so fond ones and the not so fond ones yeah we had a few not so great ones but I, know, I thought that was really cool this is how Dan vacuums when football season starts. <laughs> Hello everybody, it is Thursday now and I wanted to show you, I finished putting all of the little tickets that we have in our photo album and I wanted to just do a real quick little like flip through to show you all of it. So actually I'm gonna stand up to try to make sure it's all in there. You open it up and we have all of the movie tickets with it, which I think I showed this to you already. All the movie tickets, and then the next page we have soccer games, all the soccer games that we went to. We have music that we've gone to see, and football, and basketball, and the baseball games that we've gone to. And these are all of like parking passes and everything that we've gotten. And then this is, it says, oh, the places you'll go. And this is like, I don't know if I can angle that up. There we go. So this is like different like plane tickets. These are train tickets, uh, more plane tickets, and more plane tickets. And then this is, uh, it says lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. And those are actually holographic. I don't know if that'll come through like at all. Yeah, there you go. You can see that there. There you go. Kind of, sort of, like that. No, I don't know if that's actually working at all, but 
holographic stickers, not the Spongebob one. But these are all like animal related tickets. So we went to the cat cafe and then we went to the aquarium at the mall a while back. And then one of these Cabrera Serena tickets are Repticon, which is this one with the little like reptile dragon thing next to it. And this one is when we went to the dog show with the little dogs on it. And then these are all just like different tickets that I didn't have like a specific place to put them. So we have, when we went to the Billy Graham Museum, when we did the Cookie Crumble just last week, when we went to the trampoline park, uh, this is when we went to the Micro Beach, um, and then this is when we went to go see Jim Gaffigan live in 2012. And that is it. But I thought I would show all of that to you. Oh, and then all of the parking passes that we had, I used cars stickers to decorate those because I thought that was appropriate. There's like car tires and everything there. But yeah. So I, I was really proud of that. I'm really happy with it. It's cool to look in it and see like from the side how much is filled up already and just how much room there is to continue filling things up. But yeah, so I thought that was really cool. But I just got done doing some more German, which is supposed to be my focus. But this is only the second time this week that I've actually done it at all. So I'm a little bit behind, but I'm remembering a lot of what I learned already because essentially everything I've done so far has just been review of things I've learned in the past. And so I've just been reviewing and like refreshing my brain of everything. And I wanted to go ahead and try saying a few important sentences in German so you can see how much I'm learning. So let me see. Ich mag Hunde und Katze. Nein. Ich bin eine langsam Kartoffel. Meine Frühstück ist Erdbeere und Eis. Ich mag Pizza und Nudeln. Ja, ich mag Pizza. So that shows how much I've learned and just how fluent I am in the kitchen, <laughs> basically. <laughs> no, everything is coming back, which is really, really good. It's encouraging that I haven't fully lost everything. There's a few things that I'm like, I don't remember learning that at all. But most of it, once I figure out, once I realize what the word is, I'm like, oh yeah, okay, I remember that now. So that's encouraging. But now we're just hanging out. Uh, football is on right now. So we're watching some football, some preseason. And yeah, we worked on straightening up the house some. We have some friends coming over for dinner tomorrow. We're making some carnitas. So that's very exciting. But that's a about it. Julie says she wants to vlog a bit. There you go. You, Danny, you have to have it sideways. What? Oh, sorry. No, you'll have to stop the recording and start it over. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> no, I'm trying to organize the fridge. We just had Kristoff and Brie over for dinner and we made homemade carnitas. It was delicious, but the amount of leftovers that we have, I'm feeling like Tetris in our fridge right now because of just how stacked all of the leftovers and everything we have, which is a wonderful problem to have, let me tell ya. But it's interesting how creative you have to be with how you rearrange everything in there. <laughs> I just walked into the bedroom to get something and I look on the bed and that's there. Now, the togepi I just got at Goodwill, I found it, but this is just hanging out on the bed. Togepi was obviously very busy coloring and colored a beautiful picture of VeggieTales. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's adorable. Look at that, that's so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. I don't even remember what I came in here for. I just, I saw that and it made me smile a lot. All right, it is Saturday now, and I am editing the vlog, getting all of that ready to upload, but I thought I would go ahead and tell you what next week's focus is going to be. So as you're watching this vlog, you can follow me on social media and try to help keep me accountable throughout this coming week. So I'm thinking of trying to spend all of next week focusing on teddy bears and making teddy bears, which if you haven't seen the video of me making the giant stuffed teddy bear that I made. You need to check it out. I'll put a little like card annotation thing somewhere up there if I can figure out how to do that. But basically I made this teddy bear right here 
and it's adorable and it's huge. The purpose of me making those teddy bears was so that I could learn how to make the design and then eventually use baby clothes to make the teddy bears and make like teddy bear keepsakes for people's with their children's clothes. So that was the intention and I made that one teddy bear and I tried a second and a third and neither one of them turned out well at all. So I want to spend this next week focusing on figuring that out more, getting more of a rhythm down with that so I figure out better how to do that so that I can actually then start experimenting with clothes because right now I'm just using old sheets that we have that have a cute pattern on them to like cut up and use for the bears. So that's going to be my focus for next week but what you can also look forward to in next week's vlog is tomorrow Sunday which will be the first section of the vlog next week is I'm going back to the Cabarrus Center for another dog show and this one is particularly exciting because Kristen is entered in this dog show with Jenna who is the little black toy poodle that we did the photo shoot with. I will also stick that vlog in little annotations again if I can figure it out if not I'll put them in the descriptions so you can check that video out that we did we did some adorable photo shoots and she's entering her into this dog show so we're going to support her to see her compete for the very first time which is super exciting so you make sure to watch next week's vlog as well so you can see that and then also this week there's just so much happening this Wednesday coming up, which is the 15th, I'm releasing another video and it is thoughts that go through my head right before bed. That's a fun little skit that I hope you guys will enjoy. So make sure on the 15th that that will go live at noon my time. So make sure to look out for that so you can watch that and tell me what you think. But I hope you guys have had a great week. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure to do that. Like and comment below what your favorite part of this vlog was. And I will see you guys next week. Auf Wiedersehen!